Hi friends, welcome to everyone, in this video, you can understand, program input methods of numerical control machines. If you like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ok, let's we go to the topic. Types of controls. Fanuc. Sinumeric. Hynumeric. Crusader, etc. Program input. Programs can be produced, and entered, loaded, by any of the following methods where available. Punch tape. Computer. Direct input. Punch tape. Punch tapes may be made of paper, or plastic, material mylar, and have a standard width of 1 inch, 25.4 mm, for the 8 track, 8 bit, format used in numerical control. A tape punch unit is connected to a teletype, or similar keyboard, and produces a punch tape during typing of the program. Alternatively, a punch unit, can be connected to a personal computer, PC, and the completed program punched. The holes punched in the tape form certain patterns, and the pattern represents a value, when read by the tape reader on the machine control unit. The pattern is a code in itself, and complies with a standard, either EIA Electronics Industries Association, which uses an odd number of holes, or ISO, International Standards Organization which uses an even number of holes for each character. The ISO code is most commonly used in Australia. The EIA code is known as an odd parity system, and the ISO code as an even parity system. One of the tracks of each is assigned, as a parity track, and a hole is sometimes punched there, automatically to maintain the parity. The purpose of parity is to check, during tape reading for errors, caused by outpunched holes, dirt, or oil spots etc. Computers Personal computers can be used to type the program, in its entirety, while being visible on the screen, so mistakes can easily be spotted, and corrected before the program is loaded into the machine. The program can be downloaded to the machine, via a connecting link, interface cable or via punch tape, if a punch unit is connected to a computer. Direct input. Programming at the machine, may eliminate the need for tape punching equipment, and computers, but the machine is usually non-productive during this time. Programming can be done by several methods, such as, by typing the program directly into the memory of the MCU through the edit function. Programs produced in this way can include all functions available, are stored in the machine ready for use at any time, and can be output to a punch unit, or computer for external storage. Do you want more videos about mechanical engineering? Like, comment, share, and subscribe.